Hello, good evening. Welcome to Scott Sports Special, featuring tonight a double bill of contrasting action. From Tannadice Park, the UEFA Cup third round tie between Dundee United and Werder Bremen. In place as far apart as Moscow and Bordeaux, Zurich and Seville. And of course at Tannadice, from where Jock Brown introduces our story of the tie between Dundee United and Werder Bremen. Dundee United are at full strength with no late injury problems and with Paul Sturrock sure to be clearly marked, there will again be a big onus on the club's leading scorer, Davy Dodds. He's found the net 14 times in perhaps his best season at Tannadice. And Werder Bremen have some experienced internationals on their side. Burdensky in goal, Fichtel at centre-back, and the strikers Fowler and Meyer are in the current West German squad. But a key player will be Norbert Siegmann. He's the man expected to mark Paul Sturrock. So Werder Bremen start the match in dreadful conditions playing against the driving wind and rain and the surface very wet indeed it'll be treacherous for both sets of defenders but nevertheless despite the night a very good crowd inside Tannadice the referee this evening is Heinz Fandler from Austria both the linesmen also coming from Austria and an offside decision against Paul Sturrock Sturrock back to full fitness. Not a bad kick against the wind by the West German keeper, Dieter Bordensky. Fichtel's in trouble, there's David Dodds. And you can see how treacherous that was, the ball coming off the greasy surface very quickly. Bad luck in Dodds. That was a good chance though with the West German defender slipping at the opportune moment for David Dodds, but he couldn't control it. Ran into Kirkwood looking again for Sturrock. Siegmund with a challenge. The referee gives the throw. Hegarty's forward pass is blocked by Meyer. Now Kirkwood taking on Gruber. Not a bad effort from Barry Kirkwood. He loves these shooting opportunities just outside the box and they hit that with plenty of power. Cross header. Chase is on for Sturrock. Siegmann is with him. As we expected, Norbert Siegmund is the man delegated with the task of looking after Paul Sturrock. Sturrock again. Good support arriving, there's David Dodds! Well, it could scarcely be closer. Great build-up from United. Coming from a throw into Sturrock, he shielded it, played it wide to Goff. Goff making the dead ball line, near post cross, and Dodds almost sneaked that in. on pass, testing Bannon's pace Moulman getting back the West German captain good sliding challenge Sturrock for Stark well so close to Derek Stark's first goal of the season again Sturrock the focal point of the attack turning on that, playing it back towards Stark Foul by Eamon Bannon on Sidka. Melman's free kick. He's bouncing away from Kirkwood. And Fowler has stopped before he could work up speed. Then across by Meyer. Uh, McAlpine was bumped as he came for that by Fowler. So let's off for United. Oh, 
huge kick out from Hamish McAlpine and assisted behind for the goal kick Good header by Malpass. Barron's covering a lot of ground for United on the left flank. Sturrock didn't have the support from behind. Lots of time for Neri. Todd's beaten by that. And a sharp challenge from behind. And Camp. Now oh, Bannon. Getting away from Gruber. Fichtel coming to meet him. Bannon gets it over. Ralph Bell makes it 1 0. Marvellous goal from Dundee United. Ralph Milne getting his 10th goal of the season. Beautifully created by Ban on the left. Gruba. Good positioning by Stark. He was in midfield for the kick out. You made a goal. And then back in the defensive position. Stark trying to guide that into the path of David Odds. caught in two minds I think about whether he should try to hit it or play it with his right foot Okudera taking on Kirkwood good play by Okudera support now from Meyer great tackle from Derek Stark Camp wide to Otten and now United on the break again Starak with his shadow, no, but Siegman. Still Paul Starak. A great pass to Dodds. Well, lost the chance for that fleeting moment when he lifted his head. Bannon playing it in. Dodds again. Well, United really are causing all sorts of problems for the German defence. They can't cope with the fast rating of Paul Starak in particular. Siedka with Bannon. Siedka keeps it in. McAlpine watched that very carefully all the way into his hands. Stark getting away from Siegman again. Across to David Odds and the covering of Karl Heinz Camp and David Odds good enough again. Corner kick to United. 20 minutes gone. 1 0 to United. And the scorer, Ralph Milne. Gotinski in trouble. Good covering by the Verder defence. There's McAlpine, well out of his box. And not quite as an accurate pass, and he's out of his goal. If Fuller could chip one, but so difficult in these conditions. Now Maya. Molman at the far post. Fuller. And Kirkwood does enough. No flag up. Fuller again. And a comedy of errors in that United goal mouth. How lucky they are to escape. Well, that was a dreadful mix up. Fuller really should have scored. Perhaps had two good chances in that mix up. Kirkwood with a short pass back. McAlpine caught out Molman was on site but it came off a Dundee United defender and that could so easily have been disastrous for United Gruber leaping for the corner and Camp has the chance to return it cleared by Malpass Fichtel returns it Odds. 
Milne again. Great effort by Ralph Milne. Great power in that left foot shot. Well saved by Bodinski. Starak in a turn. United certainly willing to shoot on sight. So Werder Bremen's throw and United now have 15 minutes of the first half left in which to capitalise on the advantages provided by the elements. Although the rain and sleet has now gone off. It's dry overhead, although the surface is still very wet indeed. Werder's free kick. The captain is Mulman to take the free kick. Passed on by Gruber. Carrying forward. Kirkwood will have to be sharp. And Fuller almost turned that into a very good effort. Kirkwood dwelling in the ball a shape too long and Fuller almost cashed in with that effort which was saved by McAlpine. Malpass. Stark going for that. Milne shot. Blocked by the head of Camp. Milne again. And once again it's Camp. Malman again with Sitka on the right midfield. Good running by Camp. This is Fuller. Wolfgang Sitka. Bannon is with Melman, but he has to concede the corner kick. It's the final minute of the first half. This will be an attack, which United will be happy to clear. As Noah Botmeyer lines up the corner kick with his very educated left foot. In swinger. Calpine gets it. That's off the head of Fuller. And the halftime whistle goes. United leave the field leading by one goal to nil after a very satisfactory first half. They started with a bang, lots of pace and incision up front from Sturrock and Dodds. And they certainly deserved that goal in 15 minutes coming from Ralph Milne after a superb build-up in the left when Bannon got round Fichtel and set it up for Ralph Milne at the near post. So United leading at half-time by one goal to nil. Join us for the second half in a couple of minutes. Welcome back to Tannadice. United leading by that single goal to nil. And happily for them, during the interval, the weather calmed down considerably. The wind has dropped, the rain has gone off. And with United playing against the breeze in the second half, that's no bad thing for them. John Holt is playing for Dundee United. He's come on in midfield. The second half replacement for Derek Stark. There's Bannon. Bad ball, which is retrieved rather by Malpass. Now Kirkwood Holt's first touch. Well, Goff did well to keep that in, and Dodds is on the end of it with Fichtel challenging. United's throw, and let's see if they can stop the second half with as much pace and venom as they showed at the beginning of the match. Number 12 is John Holt. Good long throw helped on by Hegarty. Cleared now by Fowler. Neary in a hurry to get it back. West German defence came out in a line, but the United strikers came with him. Karl Heinz Camp, the Werder fullback. Holtz header. Camp again with the throw. Touched on by Holt. That's Neri playing it forward. Malpass trying to exploit the face of Milne. 
Done, don't they, off your no, wasn't very happy about the challenge by Ralph Milne. Kirkwood to Sturrock. Caused so much trouble in the first half with these turns from these positions. It's a great ball, and Dodds doesn't quite get it on. Bannon, back it comes. Gordensky, ball still free. And the West German goalkeeper falls on the ball eventually. With the right wing cross giving David Dodds the chance with the header was the best chance of the lot. That was one which Dodds might well have been expected to score from. Didn't quite enough meat in the header and it glanced away towards safety. Or could it through the middle but follows a chance for Werder Bremen. Round McAlpine taking too long on the ball perhaps. Well that was a great chance for Werder Bremen. Wasted by Fuller. The shot blocked. Mogherera and the German players looking anxiously towards Fuller. That could have made such a difference. Clean through in the goalkeeper. Took a lot of time on the ball. Went round McAlpine. Tried to make absolutely sure and allowed United to get back in numbers. And that really is the second major let off in the match for Dundee United. That problem front of Hamish McAlpine in the first half with a short pass back from Billy Kirkwood and they escaped on that occasion, they've escaped again and still no away goal counting against them and a chance for Kirkwood Milne trying to create space for the shot Malpass forcing his way forward and Otten happy to let that run for the goal kick Johnny Otten the holder of 14 under 21 caps Okudera, Wellman's on the run through the inside right channel, Neri is there. Ooh, we got that with a little bit of good fortune. Werder's throw. Well, appeals for a foul throw. The referee quite happy about it though, and play goes on. This is Gruber. Now Wellman waiting for Meyer. Ooh, that was close. Norbert Meyer, the international striker. His first real clean chance at goal. And the left foot just pulling the ball wide. Well, John Holt trying to help that on his way. Mistimed it. Where are the Bremen's throw? But if he's given the foul for handball by Melman, it would appear to be. United's advantage. Now pass. Good touch by Kirkwood. There's Dodds. And a tackle from Orton saved the day for Werder Bremen. Some appeals for handball, but that was great defending by Orton. The ball played through by Kirkwood for Dodds. It was always at full stretch, and then Orton came in with that last ditch tackle. Werder committing some players forward this time one of them is Sitka the queuing in the middle there's Fowler back it comes to Meyer one each and the goal which United were dreading built up on the right by Sitka he lofted that across Fowler going for it with Goff Goff appeared to stand his ground well it brought back to Meyer and that deadly left foot got the ball beyond McAlpine and Goff couldn't give it out Norbert Meyer he's only got one international cap for West Germany but that is a crucial goal so Eamon Bannon will go off the replacement is John Riley Riley is number 14 Richard Goff going to get some instructions from Jim McLean on the track Siedke playing it back to Gruber. Camp. Okudera. Well, Riley's challenged it enough to force Okudera to play the ball out. What a small pass. Starak this time has some room to work. Riley. 
That's a good turn away from Fichtel. And a superb cross. It's not over the line. No, it's been kept out. Starak's header. And Bordensky just made it. Now, what's happening? The referee is signalling something now on the six yard box. Well, that was great play on the right from John Riley. Turning Fichtel brilliantly, using his pace to get towards the byline. A tremendous cross on the run. Sturrock's header almost eluded the grasp of Bordensky, and he just managed to hold it on the line. Sturrock's headed back. Here's David Dodds. There's a short ball towards Riley. Cut it by Okudera. Now Meyer has room to attack the United defence. Supported as ever by Melman, and that was Kirkwood getting back. He switched to midfield draw on the left. 15 minutes to go. United badly in need of the goal to add to the one scored by Milne in the first half. Milne's cross, there's Riley. So deliberate with the header, and the chance goes a begging. Well, you don't get better chances than that. Perhaps Riley's on the field too recently. Milne doing the damage on the left. A great run. Superb cross to the left foot. And there was Riley all on his own to pick his spot. And Bordensky made it again. Milne's corner kick. Away by Camp. Kirkwood trying to float one to the top corner. But no luck that time. to Kirkwood going all the way himself surely obstructed yes that's a free kick so a shooting chance from the edge of the box for Dundee United or well, perhaps the opportunity to show the fruits of their labours in the training field they certainly have a lot of rehearsed set pieces from this situation and a piece of inspiration of that type would be most welcome now with about 8 minutes left Milne with Neri. The referee not satisfied the walls back the full 10 yards. There's Neri. Marvellous goal from David Neri. Masterly finish from the United centre back. Touched by Milne. Beautifully flighted by Neri. Gordinsky was off his line, he couldn't get to it. And that puts United back to the driving seat. Neri's seventh of the, of the season and delight all over his face. Okudera playing it for Fowler. Behind Gruber. There's Riley now. Can he control it? Well, a very difficult ball. Arriving at an upward height. Is Hegarty. Good leap by Siegman. Wellman. Bracht. Wellman once again. Seven players don't mind going back so long as they retain possession. Good break from Fichtel. Calmly cut off by Hegarty. Forward wasn't good enough, and a foul by John Holt. Orton was the victim, and Werder had the free kick. Malpass escorting it out. So five minutes left for United. Holt's <laughs> header cleared by Fichtel and Hegarty loses Hamish McAlpine. Hegarty again. 
Walked off to a switch to the left. Along with Kirkwood, who's on the ball now. Milne. No luck at all for Ralph Milne. What a tremendous effort. Well, that's fully 35 yards out. Milne turning in the ball. It seemed too far out. But look at the power in the shot. Back off the post. But 2-1 was the final score. So Dundee and...